In 2009, Disney acquired Marvel Entertainment for $4 billion and helped grow the brand into one of the most successful ventures in storytelling, especially with the Avengers franchise. Avengers! Assemble. Since 2017, Disney's been adding Marvel lands, shows, and attractions to the resorts. However, you won't be seeing Spider-Man, Iron Man, or Captain America roaming around Walt Disney World anytime soon because Marvel characters are not allowed at Disney World. Access denied. Uh, for Son of Odin. Access denied. God of Thunder. Access denied. Now what you might be asking is if Marvel characters are not allowed, why does Epcot have a Guardians of the Galaxy ride? Oh! All will be answered in today's video. Our story begins in 1999, when Universal Studios opens a new park in Orlando. We are proud to unveil Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. A park with lands based off Dr. Seuss, cartoons, Jurassic Park, and more. Universal had approached Marvel about possibly opening a new land based off the company's characters. I've come to bargain. Together, Universal and Marvel opened up Marvel's Superhero Island. The deal both companies agreed to is that Marvel would license out select characters. The contract also stated that Marvel couldn't build any other attractions with characters featured in Marvel's Superhero Island, east of the Mississippi. So when Disney stepped in two decades later, they had no choice but to honor the contract. However, they did find a few sneaky ways to get Marvel into Disney World by using the Magic Kingdom monorail, because it's technically not a ride, but a method of transportation. And they used the monorail to promote upcoming Marvel movies. Over on the West Coast, the company had freedom to build Marvel rides over at Disneyland. A rule that applies past the Mississippi is a rule on the word Marvel. Disney is not allowed to use the word Marvel to advertise or promote anything in their theme parks. Notice how their Marvel lands are called Avengers Campus? Now, back to Guardians of the Galaxy. How was Disney allowed to build this? Well, it comes down to a loophole in Universal's contract. I will use every legal loophole. <laughs> Disney is not allowed to build anything with Marvel characters featured in Superhero Island, and that's the key word, featured. The Guardians are nowhere to be found in Superhero Island, meaning Disney has the right to use those characters in Florida, as long as they don't use the word Marvel to promote it. That actually made sense. Yes, it made sense. So tell me, do you think Disney should be able to build Marvel-themed rides besides Guardians in Florida? Or do you think the current arrangement is fair? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, have a fantastic day.